Hey guys, it's Butterfly. Welcome back to Flex Butterfly, where we literally do everything. Today we are doing another DIY video. This might be the last. It is, well, not the last forever, but the last for Halloween. Um, this is a skeleton hand, obviously, but today I'm going to teach you guys how to create this for just looking cool. <laughs> So first, you're going to trace your hand. Just like that. Now, I don't believe if it mattered is because that's just how my hand felt like going. So first, trace your hand. Second, what you're gonna do is mark where like your joints are. Okay, so after marking your joints, that's what's gonna look. Stop moving. Okay, after that, that's what it's gonna look like. Those are the joint markers. Next part will be kind of fun. Next, what you're going to do is draw bone. So go ahead and draw some biggie, biggie, some pretty big bones. And for the nail, all that I keep doing is that. I don't even know what shape that is. But what you're gonna do is put bones on all your fingers um, and stop right there, okay? Stop where you're like, where your knuckles are all right and after you draw all the bones i will catch you guys back up on what to do next all right so that's what it looks like so far remember make the bones big uh, for the thumb just do it normal don't make it special because it's your thumb all right so now for this part like this part of your hand you're going to draw squares So you're going to fill it all in and stop right there. So square, 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 no squares. Okay? Alright, so that's what it looks like now. You have the fingernails, the finger bones, and then a bunch of squares. So now if you want to do your wrist, I kind of like that idea. Go ahead and trace out your wrist. Alright, so this part, for example, the fingertip. You're gonna fill it up, make sure it's pretty big, and you're gonna let it sit for a bit, and then continue on making your bones. I'm gonna do this as fast as I can, because again, I'm about to run out of storage. So what? You're, in the end, you have to make sure that all your bones, and even this, and this, have to connect. So 
all you're going to do is make fill in the squares with hot glue and go through and connect the squares with that just like this so that way you can run your finger over and it doesn't fall through and it's all smooth um and then stop when you get right here and i'll explain what to do with your wrist bones okay so i did forget to tell you guys something yes we are hot gluing onto paper because um Okay, so this isn't, obviously, this isn't my idea. Um, somebody else on YouTube thought of this. So, anyways, they use parchment paper. I do not have parchment paper, so I'm using this paper. Okay, so here it is, cut out. I do think that this finger could have been wider, but that's okay. So now you see this paper. This is the most nitpicky part. Okay, so unless you like it stiff like this, like barely even able to move, then I suggest putting water on this and like scrubbing it off. That's what I did to this one, and this one is awesome, and I love it. <laughs> so, what you're gonna do is get some water and put it on this and scrub it off. Okay, so it turns out that using a card, a Speedway card I'm using, use any card, uh, works really good for getting the paper off. So that's just a little, you know, heads up when you're doing this. Okay, see you later. Okay, so now this might be the hardest part, which is getting the rings for your fingers. So, uh, because I don't have parchment paper, I am using a bottle of lotion. Just a random lotion that I have lying around, so I'm not going to measure my finger. I'm just going to place this in a big line on this so that I could peel it off and cut it to fit my finger if I need to. Video. So, for the ring, um, hello, catch up, thank you. Uh, you're gonna go with like your first bend of your finger. Okay, this is really lagging. Um, so that way you can slide it on and off really fast. Um, oh, that's the wrong hand. So that's what it looks like. And all I did was grab... Okay, so for example, here's our ring. So I grabbed this side, this side, and put them together. And pushed it onto the skeleton hand. So I pushed these two pieces together onto the hand. Okay, so I'm about seconds off, so I'm gonna do this really quick. All you're gonna do is glue this together 
stop moving. Thank you. Let's glue this together. So, in case, um, okay, okay. So, put a lot of glue, glue it there, and wait. So, boom. See? Oh, sorry. I guess you can't see. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching our video. I mean, like, look at that. Um, so all you really have to do, oh, I have to fix that, I guess. <laughs> that looks really weird. So all you really have to do is paint it white, um, and I think that'd look good. I'm going to do that when I get white paint, but this is the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.